So I'm going to act for a lunch meeting with a potential client on a super interesting project and actually on the last two weeks I've had a lot of opportunities, interesting opportunities coming in at the same time and while this is super super awesome and I feel very lucky to be in that situation, my head is kind of like exploding with thinking about all these opportunities and what should I tell each one of them and I feel like I'm kind of losing track of what's going on. So I'm heading out to this meeting and later on today I think I'm going to try to kind of organize perhaps in an Excel sheet or something all of my client relationship. I, I don't use CRM or anything like that uh, so I think I'm going to have to put it down on paper to know what's the status of each opportunity. So that was a good meeting and I think that unlike a lot of the other projects that I had to give up lately, this one I'm probably going to take for three reasons. One, uh, it's it's limited time, I can do it in and out and it's not going to create, it's not going to bother you know the new school and my retainer client right now, so that's good. It's in a super interesting industry. Uh, I can't talk about the project right now, but it's in that area of voice interfaces. Um, which is really, really interesting and it's probably the future of UI so I, I want to get into that or experience doing that. And three, they have a lot of money, always a good reason to take a project. Um, so I'm going to take that but while I was going there and back on the bicycle I was really thinking how to kind of manage this overload that I'm feeling. Usually I know that having three projects at the same time is when I'm starting to feel stressed out and I'm trying not to go above that. But right now I'm with two projects, but have like four possible projects uh, coming in, like potential projects, and just the overload of thinking about them and managing that, you know, interaction with clients, trying to think whether this can fit or not, sending out proposals, this is the actual overload and the funny thing is that it's potential clients that's starting to hurt my, my current client and my, you know, my ability to think clearly and do good jobs. So I really, I've decided that I'm not going to create CRM, spreadsheet, Trello, whatever. I've thought about that and created that and come to the conclusion that it's just more overhead to manage my client that way. So I'm just going to create a short to-do list and try to get it done as fast as possible so I can go back to work and one more thing that I think will help me is to create kind of more more defined kind of like uh, criteria for clients that I even talk to or meet so that would kind of clean out uh, clients which are totally not relevant and and that's all I'm, I'm I just finished my client work for today. I'm heading out to their office for a meeting and we have kind of a weekly overview to see what everybody is in the company uh, did. So that, that will be a nice way to finish the week. So the week is now over. I'm super tired and looking forward to resting and decompressing over the weekend. I will catch you guys next week, actually next year. Have a great day.